So here's the connected application. It has two Node MCU devices. One of these is the sensor. So this one is hooked up to a moisture sensor. And the other Node MCU device operates the solenoid wall. Here we only have the relay. The logic of this code consists of the low sand platform on the cloud first receiving a signal from the moisture sensor. You can also trigger the workflow with a button. Once the signal from the moisture sensor is received, the workflow tests using a conditional statement whether the moisture reading indicates that the soil is wet or dry. If dry, if dry, it makes a query, an API call to darksky.net, also forecast.io. This is a restful API call, which returns the entire weather for the day, the week, the month, and so on. We parse the data, and if there's no sign of rain, we check that and energize the solenoid, causing the water to turn on. Can also send an SMS, which I have temporarily disabled, because I exceeded my SMS quota. The two devices in this loop, this is the Node MCU that is hooked up to the moisture sensor and wirelessly sends data to the low sand platform in the cloud. And the other is this Node MCU, which operates the solenoid. Right now only has a relay and you can see the relay comes on and off. Now notice, this is by itself, with its own power supply, not connected to a computer, just hanging in there, listening in the air for the Wi-Fi signal, and here it comes on. This is temporarily connected to my laptop, which is powering it, but it has a battery pack and it is shortly going to run again as a standalone device. Now watch the LED come on and off, and as I put the sensor, into the water. I'm also showing the sensor reading here for the skeptics among you. And as you can see, the sensor reading starts to drop from about 390 to 230 because the sensor is now in the water. And now we see the LEDs, the LED on the relay stops coming on. Another nice feature of this is the forecast information and the moisture sensor reading is displayed here on this OLED on the top of the box. So right now it is uh, showing 393.97, which was the last reading when the LED came on. So the signal is only updated when the relay comes on to save energy. That's it.